Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up a PDF planner to support um, events. Um, so, first thing you've got to do is work out which pages are which in terms of page numbers. Now, in this Good Planner Classic, I've worked out that the month pages are page 6 to page 17. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer um, and call it um, event, call it what you like, but event uh, area, areas. Um, and what I'm going to do with that is um, draw a table um, to exactly match the one that's there. So one, um, maybe five, I can change it afterwards. And I'm going to drag it out from here there. Okay, if I was doing this for real I'd be super accurate and I'd zoom in on, on things, but that's pretty much matches. Um, and then I'm going to, on the style page, there's a new um, setting called calendar. I'm going to turn that on. That tells Zoom Notes that that's the thing to use um, uh, for the calendar areas which are important for placing the events into. Um, so the next thing to do is to go to the page uh, properties and tell it Zoom Notes this is a calendar page and it is a month and it is June, January, sorry, in 2020. Um, planner options are important. You need to check that it's um, not Monday first for this planner, but obviously if there's one that is Monday first, then you need to um, to uh, set that setting on. Um, with that done, we can test it now. So I'll go up here into the document properties and say show events, um, and. Hey presto, we've got little markers appearing um, which represent the events. Now they're appearing over the date, so I need to do some uh, insetting. We go back to the um, page properties, and it looks like they need to go about 10 mil down. Um, and yeah, we could do a bit more, probably 12 mil. Um, that keeps it away from the links which are on the dates. Um, so that looks good. Um, now we want to um, hide that layer. So I'm going to um, lock it, make it invisible. We don't need to see it. We just need it. Just needs to be there so Zoom knows what's going knows what's going on. And the final thing to do is to go to copy properties to pages, page date properties. It's selected, and it is six. Um, to seventeen. Then we'll be able to go to next page, and there they all are. Um, now, you, for the um, week pages, it's the same.